Hey there friends, True Brian here, and I help you discover inner wealth so you can attract outer wealth. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a pretty touchy subject, something called the dark night of the soul. Let's talk about what it is, why it matters, and how to move through it in a very intelligent, wise way. Okay, so the first thing is, what is the dark night of the soul? So the dark night of the soul is a fancy term, a poetic term from the Middle Ages by a theologian whose name I'm forgetting. And he quoted it and said something like, I'm going through a dark night of the soul, and yet I know somehow I'm going to be okay, to paraphrase. So the dark night of the soul is a fancy Old English term or phrase for I'm having a hard time in my life. And for me, it lasted from 22 to around late age 25. So a couple years there, three to four years where looking back, I was, I was kind of a zombie with emotional intelligence, with figuring out my life, figuring out what I need to do, figuring out what I want, things like that. So a dark night of the soul is really where we start to ask questions or awakening questions, such as who am I really? Why do I want what I want in my life? Who is my family? Where do I come from? This planet? Somewhere else? These deeper questions. The kinds of questions that aren't very fun at parties. Unless you're friends with nerds like me. So that's a bit about what a dark night is of the soul. And I'm smiling so much because I know how transformative this time is for you. If you're going through this now, I want you to hear what I'm saying to you. You're gonna be fine, and you're gonna look back, and you're gonna love this period, even though that makes no sense right now. Whether you're taking your kids to school right now and you just feel completely like a dark cloud inside of you and around you, there's no joy in anything. You know, the, the cheese Danish at Starbucks is not lighting your fire anymore. It's just kind of bland in your mouth. If you have to pay the rent and food like so many of us, and you're worried about those kind of mundane things and it's just overwhelming and it's been this way for months or even years, you may be in this period. So I wanna offer three tips that have helped me in the past that I wish I knew during this period of my life that somebody I wish had sat me down and said to me. And I'm sure a few people did actually, that's the funny thing. And sometimes it just, we can't hear it, sometimes we just, need to go through something. And so all of my compassion is outward toward you right now, if you're in that position. So you may be half listening to this, you may be 20% listening to this, but at least you're seeing that I'm conveying some optimistic energy your way, while also allowing you to go through this. So the first thing I wanna let you know is that whatever it is that's causing this, even if you don't know, even if it's just confusion and uncertainty, I invite you to breathe into that now, into your body, down into your belly. And the second thing is, I want you to welcome and accept whatever it is that's casting this deep darkness around you and in your body and in your energy system, causing you mental fatigue, mental fog, causing you to just not be able to Enjoy the day. Accept it. Reality is what it is. Eckhart Tolle, I was listening to him this morning and he reminded us, he reminded me, that the moment is what it is. And through our filters, through the, the filters that we have, we judge it in a thousand different ways rather than simply letting us, letting ourselves breathe into this moment without the mind taking over with commentary. So that's the second step. I invite you to accept, accept radically what you're feeling, what you're thinking, your mental loops that you're experiencing, your emotional pit of your stomach, your feelings of meaninglessness or worthlessness, whatever they may be, together, let's welcome and accept them to this space. 
And the last step, and this makes me absolutely celebratory inside, is to remember who you really are. And when you remember who you really are, the dark night of the soul becomes a bit lighter. Even though you're still experiencing it, or maybe entering into one, or feel like you didn't have a term for it, and now you do watching this video, it gets interesting. Because the symbol of the yin-yang is the black and the white. And when we see that symbol, and we see that life happens on the line of black and white, life happens between our deepest, darkest, and our highest, most ecstatic. And here we are living life in the middle. So I encourage you to actually embrace what you're going through. See it as an experiment. See it as an experiment. Radically accept where you are. And you will begin to open the door to a breakthrough, if not dozens of breakthroughs, like I had in those mid-20s. One of those big breakthroughs, P.S., was I'm in control, and for what I can't control, I surrender to. A thousand percent, I put my hands up. What I can control, I do. What I can't, I surrender. So, I hope this helps. I sincerely hope the words got across to you. And if you have thoughts, comments, feelings, Write your comments below. Write your thoughts and feelings below. I can't wait to read them. How are you getting through the dark night of the soul for you? How did you in the past if you've already experienced one of these? What has been your experience around anxiety, stress, tension, depression? Suffering of all kinds, especially mental and emotional. What has worked you through those moments, those months, those years? What has really helped you, sincerely? I can't wait to read those comments below, okay? And remember, we don't have business or relationship issues. We have personal, mental and emotional issues that are blocking up like gunk in the pipe. And when we go in there and we scrub them out and we clean the inside of the cup like Jesus says, everything else begins to flow. So, until the next video, I'll see you later. Ciao.